it makes you think it happens at least for the split second you wake up. Like yeah, and ooh, I'm like, ooh, I'm why did that literally happen? about to bite into a chocolate bar? That wasn't chocolate. No. That was my pillow. <laughs> yeah, 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 pillow. Alrighty, how are you doing? You're sleepy too, I'm hearing. <laughs> I still gotta kick myself into actually modding Fallout. You can't hear her. Oh no! Now you can. Hello, it is I. Alrighty, we're ready to get this road on the show. Uh, welcome back to another episode of I Spy with My Little Eye, with today's guest being Silexandra, the first friend I ever actually made on Twitch. Hey, that's me. That is you. You want to give oh, yourself so a brief intro? Yes, hi. <clears throat> name, pronouns? Ooh. Yes, hi, my name is uh, Silexandra. Uh, people usually call me just Lexi. And I use she, hers. I am a Twitch streamer on my on my stream, Silexandra. And my thing is recently just been Minecraft and Seven Days to Die. Alexandra is a cute. It's true. Yeah, like those. Your main three current streams are Minecraft, Seven Days, and Followed, right? Uh, for the most part, uh, I kind of am scared to keep streaming Fallout because I don't like dipping my my quality all the way down low in order to get it streaming. Fair enough. Yeah, but if you would like. Um, Minecraft and or Seven Days to Die. I do that very frequently. I definitely need a help with modding stuff because I have a big list to go through. Yeah. Um, I know for, for Fallout, I have a lot of mods that make the game look prettier, which means it makes it harder to stream. <laughs> It that is one of the downsides of modding with graphics mods. Mm -hmm. Uh, so are you only on Twitch? Do you upload any YouTube? Uh, yeah, I actually do upload to YouTube as well. I do upload some shorts right now. For a long while, I was interviewing people, uh, like you do here, but uh, mental health stuff got in the way and stuff so i haven't been up to that as much um but i do upload shorts to youtube uh just me being a silly head those are the ones that usually do pretty good mm -hmm. and to be honest you were a big inspiration for me getting started with these interviews hell yeah love to hear it yeah so what inspired you to start working on content in the first place I think that creating content is the best way for me to express myself um, because I create something that is mine and mine alone in terms of vision. Um, and I wouldn't say it's like a particular person, but more of just like the idea of, you know, being fully involved in something. Whereas like if I were to get a desk job, Unless I do, like, an amazing job, I probably won't have much control or recognition. That's unfortunately true in today's society. Yeah. Get the occasional person that actually says something, but for the most part, bosses don't say much. Yeah. And, and like, I just cannot imagine doing something that gets very little recognition. Um, whereas if I create my own content, well, there's no one else to recognize except me and the people who are maybe in the video. And that's something that's uh, important to me as well of like making sure I shout out people and like 
link people and stuff like that. Oh yeah, making sure you got their proper links. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Does certainly help having those like direct.me or link tree or something. That makes it so much easier. Yeah. Definitely. I think a huge inspiration also for making content is just like I grew up watching a whole lot of YouTube Let's Plays. Um, in particular, probably the most formative was like X Plays Minecraft, which is a hella old series. He started playing in Alpha, and that's when I got into the game. And so, yeah. <laughs> I think that was when I first started playing Minecraft as well. Oh, Hell I did, yeah. I did hear about the Minecraft, uh, the Neoners ban. That was kind of funny because she was using that outfit for a week and then got banned. So how long have you been creating content? Um, a little bit over a year. I think I started in July slash August of last year. No, no, no! It was twenty twenty, right? When did we When did we start talking? Jeez, I think I started streaming June last year. Okay, yeah, and that must have been July or August of last year. Yeah, because it was, I think July. Yeah, because I, I, I remember the end of June. I I remember because I spent a lot of time just meeting people first before I started streaming myself. That certainly helped you a ton when you got started. Definitely. I got a lot of uh, people who were following and as well as kind of a more context of what I what to expect when I'm streaming. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, you did manage to build up a small community, but I mean, they've stuck around. Yeah, lots of friendos. Oh, Andrea is asking, did you do anything special for your one year anniversary? Uh, no, because I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of passed me over. <laughs> Mood. Wait, here's an affiliate in November. Nice. Hell yeah. It took me. So what's interesting is that I started streaming a lot. Like there's multiple points where I started streaming. But the first time that I, like, really took it super seriously, like, was last year. And within, uh, like, a week or two, I hit affiliate because of just, like, how much commitment I had. As well as, like, building up experience and all of that. Okay. Um, I know it takes forever for some people to hit affiliate, uh, but I felt like, you know trying over and over and over again, even if it wasn't like a wholehearted attempt, was uh, good for me to help, like, you know, break through. Yeah, and to be honest, to get affiliate, you need a few consistent friends catching your streams a little regularly, line up when mm -hmm. your friends can catch them, when you're free to stream, and you can actually hit affiliate fairly easily. It's partner yeah. that's really hard. Absolutely. Uh, I wish I could hit partner, but I think currently <laughs> yeah. I'm averaging like six viewers. I don't know. I, oh, <laughs> I'm, shit, actually, more I can me. go check. Let's go to my creator dashboard. Um, Push for self-esteem? Yes, always. It was actually a little bit lower. A five-ish? Eh. I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah, we're the same size then. I've got about the same average viewers, 4.8. Hell yeah. I think you're slightly bigger, actually. I was rounding. I've, I've got more Twitter clout. You've got more Twitch clout with the followers there. Yee. Yeah. Clout is so funny. Like, I've got friends that are twice as big as me on Twitter. But I'm twice as big as them on YouTube. But then I have another friend that is like a tenth the size of me on Twitter, but is twice the size of me on YouTube. 
Mm. It, yeah, it all that, com- it's all it, weird. It is weird. Comes down to how long you've been doing it, how consistent you've been able to keep regular viewers, that kind of thing. Mm. I really want to hit 100 subscribers so I can get a custom URL. They scrapped that. Oh, that's the handle now, right? That's the handle now. Sick, I can get a custom URL, let's go. Yeah. That's why I actually switched to Mistress Briley. Because I was pushing for 100, so I could get the custom URL first to be youtube.com slash u slash Briley. And then they rolled out the handles automatically and gave it to a channel that hasn't uploaded in 15 years. Wow. I can't even contact support because I'm not a partner. Damn. Yeah. No, oh, new handle. Fuck it. Rebrand. Rebranding. All right. Cool. I got my also handle. Depends on. Easy. Nice. Depends on what content you make or how big are you on platform A versus B. That is true. Yeah. And consistency is really big. I'm. I'm pretty inconsistent, which is my biggest downfall, I would say. I'm relatively inconsistent. Like, I'm always Saturday, Sunday streaming. Oh, good lord, Darla's here. I'm always streaming Saturdays, Sundays, but I never really announce what time it's going to be. So most of the time, I just automatically think 11. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because of the uh, group streams that I do. Mm-hmm. But... Oh, I mean, group streams and interviews. It's, it is hard to schedule with people on literally the opposite side of the world. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Tunnel. I forgot Ooh. to advertise to you on my server. So, do you have a goal with your platform? Um. <laughs> Sorry, you're yeah. a horny mess. I respect so, that, Darla. Thank you. The goal with my platform is actually just to provide a, like, um, hope and like camaraderie towards people who are in my similar position to me. Um, and that being somebody who is trans and uh, a person of color. And it's like, because cause being trans and a person of color means that you are very far removed from the cis white person. Um, and that makes it hard for you to be like, feel accepted or welcomed in places. And so that's like my goal is to be like, hey, like, I'm here and I'm proud. And... I want to um, show you or show people, like in general, that there's a lot of people who don't fit the traditional mold that can just exist, and it's fine. Yep, we match up pretty much exactly the same, aside from I'm white. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to provide the exact same kind of community, and I'm glad, honestly, we gotten pretty close because we are so like-minded yeah what is something you wish you knew when you or you wish you were taught when you first got into content creation um i wish i was taught how to um or i wish i was taught how important consistency can take you uh, not necessarily how consistency is important, because everyone always says, be consistent, and, like, you kind of get the idea that it's important, but, like, nobody explains how important and, like, why it's important. Um, having the structure is super, super good when it comes to um, almost anything, but especially in content creation. It's, like, if people can expect something, they're more likely to keep doing it if they build a habit um and another thing is would be like how to turn off the content creation mode just like like okay 
we've done the work. Uh, now we need to take care of ourselves and turn off content creation brain. Yeah, to actually take the time to relax and stuff. Mm hmm. There was something I was going to say. God. Right. It's that. It's also something to note that consistency doesn't always mean three shorts a day every day, but it means if you're doing something every Friday, keep doing it every Friday. Don't miss mm -hmm. a Friday, ideally. But if you do got to miss a Friday, you let your audience know how you can. Discord, Twitter. Yeah, for sure. Is there a kind of content you've wanted to make or see, but felt like it's too niche? Yes, I really want to make content about basically just me gushing over some of my favorite magic cards. And, like, how cool and useful they could be in very specific situations. But it's so, so niche and, like, specific that, like, I feel like the effort put into it won't pay off. <laughs> Who knows? There could be a big following just waiting to be found. There could absolutely be. Uh, it's also kind of hesitant. I'm also kind of hesitant because, like, a big portion of the audience for, like, you know, tabletop gaming is not very welcoming. Or at least they have a reputation of not being welcoming. Um, it's something else that makes me hesitant, but I still think I want to do it. <laughs> I honestly think you should. It's worth a shot at the very least. Hey, Humble. Yes. Well, thank you. What's the biggest project you're currently working on? Currently, I'm working on um, trying to get my, my Minecraft server, as my SMP server, which stands for Survival Multiplayer, to be much more consistent and uh, engaging. Currently, there's maybe three or four consistent players, and maybe in the top range, like six. Um, but I would really love it if it was like, on average, you can find 10 people online at a time, and at peak, maybe like 20. Um, oh, wow. But the difficult thing has been. I really want it to be trans content creators as well as above eight, <clears throat> over the age of 18, particularly in like mid to high 20s. And we have people in their like 30s and someone approaching 40. And with all those factors, it makes it very difficult because it's very the, the more and more factors I add in, then more and more niche the community gets, making it hard to have a substantial player base. So, yeah. I can only imagine trying to set a server up with a f those qualifications. Though, I respect you for keeping it to 18+. plus. I appreciate that, given the that half of my content is literally not safe for work. Yeah, absolutely. And that's something that was very important to me, because, one, I had a, a player, um, or a, a person that I followed. She was like, I really want to join a server where people are over 18 because like as much as we love and appreciate younger players, like we want a place for older players. Um, and another thing is that one of my best friends, she draws porn. Like that's, that's just, that's her work. That's how she makes money. So I would feel uncomfortable if anybody under 18 was on the server. Wait, who? Oh, I have my friend, um, she goes by Strange Bump on Twitter, and she draws, like, niche, um, uh, like, kink content. Someone new to follow. I got support.
I am on live, uh, live on YouTube and Twitch, so you know. But it looks like mm -hmm. Twitch is the active chat. I'm watching. I love both. Twitch chat. Twitch chat is a lot of fun. I'm gonna be doing mm -hmm. a Vermintide stream. I think next week, week after, maybe. That one's gonna be fun. If you could collaborate with any content creator, what would it be? Ooh. Any content creator? Yeah. Um, Tappy Toe Claws or Shoujo. So Tappy Toe Claws is a trans Magic the Gathering content creator who cosplays and plays Commander, which I I'm like, that's how that's that's rad as hell. And Shoujo is a very popular trans streamer who does um, Mario Maker primarily, but also just a bunch of other games. And she's really just, like, pretty cool. Uh, but honestly, one of the, my biggest goals was um, Sorceress Anna... Uh, but she's actually just become one of my friends. Like she, we play on the server together, and she's a lot of fun. And uh, she was, she was actually the first trans content creator I followed on Twitch. Oh yeah, yeah. So it was, it's pretty cool to be playing with her. I'm just, I'm just like, wow. I, I, I follow. I've, I've been following her for like almost two years now, and and now we're, we're playing games together. It's awesome. Ah, take a Discord invite, Pink. Join Lexi's um, SMP. You do hit all them categories, and you're fun to play with. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, um, just uh, DM me after I'm done here, and I'll, I'll get you all set up. Oh, by the way, Pink is my moderator. You don't got to worry about them. And video editor. And manager. Hell yeah. I like pink. I like the color pink. So, you know, we're off to a good start. Very good start. <laughs> <laughs> what skill would you say has taken you the longest to improve? Uh, planning and structure. Oh. Uh, it's something, uh, something I'm constantly working on. And it's, it's never done. And the worst thing about having a structured day is that you have to do it again tomorrow and like why can't they just do it once and be happy and like it's done no i have to keep doing it oh, god it's so hard <laughs> oh my god yes last night i think i had all the stream set up and then like 10 minutes before i'm supposed to go live no it's not ready yeah, of course right? not. Uh, that, yeah, planning is definitely... You gotta, gotta plan shit out before you just start going live. I mean, you can go live and just have fun with it, but... Yeah, having but having the structure is really helpful. Exactly. Um, yeah, and, like, I can plan stuff out, like, pretty easily. Like, I plan this, I have, like, a... I considered it into my daily, into my daily, or my day to day. It's like, oh, okay, on Saturday I have this thing to do, planned out, cool. But it's like when I have, let's say, a stream every single Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I have to constantly remind myself, like, oh, I can't make plans that day. Oh, I can't make plans that day. I have stuff scheduled. I have stuff structured there. I know, and even right? things. Even things like going to bed is like, oh, so like a lot of my friends are night people. I'm a morning person, but I really enjoy watching night people like they're they're the most fun for me because they're a little bit more chaotic than like day people, in my opinion. Um, I could absolutely be proven wrong, but in my experience, night people are a little bit more unhinged. <laughs> and so I love watching them, which means that um, I don't get to actually stream during the time of day that I want because I'm too busy staying up watching my other friends stream. <laughs> and I'm tired. 
and I get up and I'm tired and groggy and I can't stream. Ah! <laughs> that, that is 100% true. Also, hey, Leo Penguin, how you doing? They're in YouTube chat. Oh, hey. So, how do you like to spend your free time not working on content? Brain off, play Fallout. Uh, currently. Very um, big mood. Yeah, I've just been playing Fallout, and I've been, like... Looking at magic cards and fiddling with my with my cardboard and talking to friends, um, but for the most part, I do spend a lot of time thinking about content or even other people's content because that's another thing that I really wanted to do. I just wanted to provide support to people who want to make content but feel like they can't or whatever or have they feel like they have limitations. Um, the biggest way that I do that is by being an active chatter in a lot of places. Because you know how it'd be when you try to stream and chat, chat's just not talking. Yeah, chat's feeling like lurking. But yeah, nothing and wrong like, with that. But it, it certainly does help boost a streamer's ego and morale and quality of the stream when there are people that engage with them. I do yeah. try and engage as well. I, I noticed that a lot of people who stream are very big on, at least the people that I like watching, bounce off of stream a lot, like bounce off of stream chat. And if there's no stream chat, they're just kind of left to their own devices, and it's not exactly what they are great at. Yeah, not when it comes everybody's to people really. I watch. Yeah. Not everybody's really prepared, in a sense, to just keep conversation going with themselves keep their thoughts being vocalized just to keep silence from creeping in on their streams yeah i noticed that i struggle with it too it's like when i when i uh, am streaming i don't actually talk that much unless somebody's talking to me um and so, uh, you know, be the change you want to see in the world. Be an active chatter. That's, that's, my, that's my goal. <laughs> I try to do that as best I can. Mm. I'm busy, though, so I don't get to catch everybody I want to see. Oh, mood. Plus, I'm limited to two people at once. Lame. Um, something I want to say, but I forget. So I'll move on to the next question. Where do you want to see yourself in five years? Uh, in five years, I want to be living off of my content and using it to pay rent. Um, hey. that's, that's my only goal. I don't really care if I'm rich. I don't really care if I'm you know blowing up i just like want to make enough money to make ends make... meet and be able to yeah. focus on your passions yeah literally nothing wrong with that absolutely and that's that's just all i want <laughs> you happen to have a favorite music genre favorite music genre um not really I, I guess if I were to, like, if someone put a gun to my head and say, choose one, I guess it would be, like, metal. Um, but for the most part, I just kind of, like, I prefer vibes over genres. So, like, I prefer kind of, like, chill vibes with some experimentation in it versus, like, a like the genre you know i don't know if that makes sense but that, that that's just how my brain works did i change the questions for the interview no i did not what happened to the random question i don't know what you're talking about and yeah sometimes that's just how people's brains are wired you can't really do much about that and honestly i'm kind of the same i like my metal so most or a good big chunk of the music I listen to tends to have at least metal influences. 
But if the song's a bop, it's in my liked from the radio. Mm -hmm. On the flip side, what song would be played endlessly on loop in your personal hell? Um, I forget what it's called, but it goes, Last Christmas I gave, gave you, you my, my heart. heart. Yeah. And the very next day, you got me banned on Twitch. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate that song. <laughs> oh my god, it's November, so they've already started with the Christmas takeover. Oh my god. Let veterans have their... We do veterans? No, we give all, all military people a holiday in Canada in one day. We remember them. I don't remember anything. My brain empty. I just know it's time to wear, wear the red poppy. because Everybody else is doing it. There you go. Do you have a food that you like that not many others do? Um... Lengua. Which is, um... It's tongue. And in Mexico, they make lengua tacos. And shit's so good but i have but i've heard that like people when they hear that you're gonna be eating tongue are like Ugh. yeah so, just hearing that it's tongue will probably set people off but if you don't tell them until after they might actually like it yeah but i fucking love lengua like it's one of my favorite dishes oh pink shares your taste hell yes What does your ideal breakfast include? My ideal breakfast is a breakfast sandwich, like like a diner style breakfast sandwich and like hash browns and um orange juice. Yeah. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Oh, oh fuck, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Sorry. It's it's just good for me. I personally like including that question because not everybody's thinking about what they should have for breakfast. Y'all eat food. It's good for you, surprisingly. It really is. Never I had, had it. Tamales for breakfast. You should have breakfast. Has anyone really been far even as decided to use even go want to do look more like? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you just said. <laughs> it's, it's word salad. It's meant to be confusing. And I just like throwing that in there at a random time in the interview because it throws people off. <laughs> My favorite. Okay, you got me. My favorite answer so far was piñata. Next question. <laughs> <sighs> what topic do you think you could talk about the most? Magic. Definitely magic. I can talk about random cards or cycles of cards, sets, lore, um, gameplay, I, I fucking love card games, and Magic is like the OG card game, and also the most complicated. It's and true. oh my god. I could talk about it forever. So question, can you explain the lore of Jace Bellerin? Because all I know about him is some artwork, and he's daddy. <laughs> uh, Jace Bellerin is a planeswalker who's a telepath. Um, he has kind of like an edgy past where he kind of lost control of his powers and wiped the mind of his teacher. Uh, he, he had, like, an, a kind of, like, gray area of morality when he began, because he was a telepath who altered minds and stuff, but then he became kind of more heroic over time as he became kind of more of the poster boy of Magic the Gathering. And so he uses his telepath for good, but eventually he got to kind of like that, like Mary Sue, Gary Stu kind of area where he went to like 
the most loved plane of Ravnica and became a living version of the Guild Pact, uh, which was like, I think that was too much. Uh, and now he's kind of relegated back to like hero work, but like not the main character. There you go. I also, hoping... he loves he loves a gorgon. He loves a gorgon. Yeah, he's in love with a gorgon. Well, love knows no gender. Yeah, or species. Well, sentient as species. As long as they consent, that's what matters. <laughs> you need that yes. explicit consent. Exactly. Can someone explain Kyle X Y, please? Uh, you're gonna have to explain that one to me. I don't know. Uh. He drinks monsters and plays XC's decks in Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. That would be my guess, too. <laughs> YouTuber? Who is, the mer eh. Who is the most interesting person you have ever met or interacted with? Venny Mortem! Venny Mortem, you do not know, is... So cool. Holy shit, she her is, art is great. Her art is great. She makes music. She's working on a game and she she does a weekly webcomic. Uh it's kind of amazing. She's so great. Her and her partner, Jay. Jay works on a weekly uh webcomic as well. And they're they're both commission artists. Oh, and with Amy, it's like a trio. They're just all really cool. You all should definitely at least follow Venny Mortem. Because she's just fucking awesome. I made a video about her, actually. Yes, I should actually grab that link. Because, I mean, if we're going to shout her out in the video, might as well include a link. Why not? Hold on. Let's see if... if uh... YouTube chat yells at me. No, it didn't. Let's go. But my YouTube chat's kind. Just quiet. <laughs> I just didn't know if it was an auto mod in there or something. No, I don't auto mod uh, links. Cool. Perfect. Oh, God. I see our video from the days of flesh tubing. Oh, yeah. Flesh. Just a couple cute snacks there. Yeah. Look at us. How far <laughs> we've come. We've devolved into, into anime characters. Devolved? Okay. Okay. I have embraced my degeneracy. Do you not see my Twitter? <laughs> I've devolved into the second dimension. <laughs> For now. For now. Do you have any plans to move to like a V-Roid or a Live 2D someday or maybe back to flesh tubing? Uh, in the future, I want to go back to flesh tubing, but I don't think I'm going to go get there for a while. Uh, in the meantime... I really enjoy the PNG, um, and I want to get into live 2D stuff. I think live 2D would be my preferred over a 3D model, but I would still want a 3D model for specific use cases. But all in all, the answer is uh, we'll see how we do financially and move on from there. Totally fair. <laughs> I do recommend, in my biased opinion, going Vroid. Mostly because it is super free with how well or how much you can customize your Vroid and how often you can do it. With Live 2D, 2D you're kind of stuck with your design. So Yeah, that's true, that's true. If you know what design for sure you want, or if you got a lot of money to throw around, go for Live 2D. I just love the aesthetic of Live 2D so much. Oh my god, I know. 
I, I'm working with what I got, and I'm actually pretty happy with my results. Hell yeah, that's awesome. If you could have lucid dreams, what would they be about? Um, honestly, nothing. Just let me sleep, please. I hate dreams. How dare I get admitted to a eight hour movie that I did not sign up for. And that I makes just you sleep. think happens. Huh? And it makes you think it happens, at least for the split second you wake up. Like, yeah, and I'm like, well, I'm why did that literally happen? about to bite into a chocolate bar. That wasn't chocolate. No. That was my pillow. <laughs> yeah, 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 pillow. I just want to opt out of dreaming. I, for a long time, I actually didn't dream. And I was like, oh, what am I missing out on? What am I missing out on? And then and actually then, recently I went into a residential treatment and I was having dreams and I was like, this is the worst. Please, I just want to sleep. <laughs> Leave me alone. So let me hit the pillow and then get back up. Please. Exactly. Please. What story would you say has had the biggest impact on you? Um, hmm. There is a book called The Report Card. And I don't remember much about it. But what I do remember is that it was very formative. So that one. I, I guess we'll have to just look into it. The source, trust me. Source, I made it the fuck up. <laughs> that is honestly one of my favorite lines right now. <laughs> is there anything on your mind you feel should have more attention brought to it? Um, anything to do with my like legal transition? As well as medical transition. I just like. I just don't want to use brain power on it. I just want it to like figure itself out. But I know that it won't. <laughs> unless I. Take the time to figure it out. Ah uh, big mood. Still got to do some of that legal stuff too. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I, love I don't know if that was the intent of that question, but that's what my brain came up with. There you go. Totally fine. <clears throat> I don't think I have any specific intent with any of these questions, except for that one that's meant to confuse you. Fair, 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 fair. Dude. Uh, my mind farted. I forget what I was up. What do you rebel against? Everything. Mood. But very specifically, uh, cis, heteronormative, monogamous, Christian society. Uh, oh, and mood. capitalist. Biggest um, mood. But also, I rebel against everything because I'm a brat. So... Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'm just a bit of a dom. And <laughs> hearing somebody's a brat, I kind of take that as a challenge. See, it's funny because I'm I'm more of a top, but it's it's that I'm a bratty I, I called myself a bratty brat tamer. That's a pretty good way to describe yourself. <laughs> what do you wish was illegal? Um, I wish it was illegal to be mean to me. Agreed. We're passing that into law. It's ratified. Yay! All in favor, say aye. Hi. It's unanimous. <laughs> Don't wait for chat. They already agreed. Sweet. Tame this brat, please. You know I already did, Pink. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, do, do, do. What is the weirdest way you have ever met somebody? Um. Hmm. I don't know. I guess on Twitch is the weirdest way, but like it seems normal to me now. Yeah, I was going to say it was a little actually weird how we met. I just showed up and was like, hey, you're building Gundams. I don't know what that is. And And now we're here. I'm building Digimon Gundams. And you're like, I double don't know what that is. My partner (laughs) does. Let's be friends. And here we are over a year later. (laughs) That's basically how it happened, chat. Source, trust me. Trust me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. I'm on the internet. on YouTube. Can't lie on the internet, it's illegal. Mm-hmm. What is the most amazing natural occurrence you've ever witnessed? One time, my family went on a road trip in an RV to a very um, humid climate in Mexico. And we experienced a thunderstorm. And it was awesome. I hate the rain, but that was super awesome. Like out in the, uh... We were just like out in the middle of nowhere. But there was like... I think we were in a campground or something. And it was just like raining really hard. It was very humid, but the rain was cold. The storms were like, you know, storm clouds. And every once in a while, you would just see flashes of lights. And so it was just like, this is sick. Honestly, being in the middle of a storm can be a drag, but it is a hell of an experience. Like, yeah. Be and plus, I was too young to understand that I wasn't possibly in danger. I was, was just it, like, this is cool. Was it that big of a storm? It was pretty scary. My mom was like, don't go outside without shoes on because the lightning will dissipate into the earth and you'll get shocked and maybe die. And I'm like, that sounds accurate, I think. I'm only six, so. (laughs) Well, okay then. Would you ever try space tourism if given the chance? Nah, space is overrated in my opinion. <gasps> it, it's cool, I'm not gonna lie, but oh, not enough to for me to leave Earth. Friendship in one sentence. <laughs> <gasps> space is cool. I think it'd be sick that if people could go to space, but I would. I don't really see the appeal. I'm just gonna be down here talking to people. Just just one trip. Just look at the stars with me outside of the atmosphere once. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll do it once, but it... it but it doesn't have to it. be a regular thing. I mean, I guess. I, I would do it for and with friends. I wouldn't do it for the sake of going to space. Fair enough. Also, Aurora Borealis in New York? Didn't know it went that south. Huh. And actually, Tannel, it takes you a few minutes to die in space, actually. So, the more you know. What do you resent paying for the most? I resent paying... For bank fees the most. How dare. How fucking dare. This is just like the rudest thing in the world. You asked me to put the money in there. Why, why am I getting charged for this? I know, right? No fees, banking account. You go below zero... Here's a $45 fee. 
dumb. I hate banks. Just taking money from poor people. Being poor is expensive. It is so expensive. Which workers would you say have the worst jobs? Fast food. Easily. Like, you know, there's people who work on sewers and people who work on trash and like, yeah, that sucks. But like... At least that pays more than fast food. It pays more and you don't have to deal with being the public face of a corporation. Dealing with the fucking customer. Yeah, and, like, it's one thing to be like, hey, man, like, I'm just a worker. I, I just show up and do the job. But when I am, when somebody is a cashier, they are the face of the company when they talk to a customer. True. They can't just be like, hey, like, I don't know what to tell you. Bring it up with somebody else. Because they are the person to bring it up to. At least that's how they're treated. It's ridiculous. Yeah, especially if the customer can't find a manager on the field, who are they going to go to? They're going to walk all the way to customer service? No, the checkout's right there. Yeah. Do -do. I... Hmm. I do wonder if this really applies to do you consider yourself part of the VTuber community? It's interesting because I don't, but I, I kind of am. Yeah, like loosely, you're technically one of us because you are a PNG tuber, but you're not really engaging with VTuber, excuse me, the VTuber community on Twitter very much. No, yeah, I it's, it's a gray area. Yeah, I, I, I guess like the most I interact with VTubers is on Twitch, but like on Twitter, I don't really use for engaging with uh, communities, and I watch a lot of VTubers, and I, I'm a PNG tuber, so like, but I feel like I don't have like my skin in the game, you know, like I. If something terrible were to happen and, like, VTubers all of a sudden got a bad name, I wouldn't feel like a part of it. Or if something amazing happened and they all did something incredibly well, I'd be like, good for them. I wasn't a part of it. Well, there was some bad drama that actually dropped earlier this week. At least regarding the VTuber supporter community, which I, I label myself as one of them. So that'll oh, be the, fun to address. You only have one tag on Twitch. It just says English. What? Oh, fuck. I'm an IRL streamer. <laughs> uh, do you use uh, slobs? Or streamlabs? Sorry. Yes, I do. That's okay. Yeah, I've noticed that that's been happening to a lot of my friends who use streamlabs. I use it because... Um, multi-streaming to YouTube. Only way I can actually watch activity feed of both. Mm -hmm. Oh, so many tags I'm missing. Not Kanda. Yeah, the next question was going to be what change would you want to see in the VTuber community? But how about what change would you like to see in your community? In my community? Um, I would, if I could ask for anything, it would be for less hesitation. Um, I always feel like I am hesitant and a lot of other people are hesitant to ask for help or talk about things they want to talk about or anything like that. And it might, it might be hesitation, or it might be just be like, you know, they're not saying other people talk, so they don't want to talk, and that's, it's, it's hard. I, I, want, I want a more active community, and I need to push myself to be more active and, you know, inspire other people to be more active. But it's hard. 
it it really is hard like i'm doing my best to boop in your uh discord once in a while i am a moderator trying to live it up to that i am also yeah. working at keeping my own community going i yeah. do have some regulars going i'm pretty happy with them too that's awesome um Geez, we're winding down to the last question already. Uh, would I'm you very be efficient to... at answering questions. It would seem so. <laughs> would you happen to be interested in taking any questions from chat? I'm always interested in taking questions from chat. So chat, feel free to ask away. And while we wait for the stream to catch up with chat... What things in your life are you grateful for? I am grateful for my friends and my mom hmm. and my culture. Uh, I have so many cool friends and friends that just, you know, make it worth getting up every day. Just like seeing what they're up to. And my mom and my culture are really defining and help ground me and remind me of my values and what's important to me. And it's, it's without it, I don't, I, I would really not be the same person. Oh yeah. hundred percent. There is every person we interact with influences our lives. We like it or not, whether we realize it or not. And it's good to recognize it, to be able to appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's so many people that have influenced me in a positive way. Uh, like Vanny Mortem, who I've already shouted out. Uh, Anna, uh, my friend Pyrite, and you, and... <laughs> There's just so many people who have helped me and helped me stay sane in this insanity that is life. Sometimes that's what you got to do. We, not everybody can actually not anybody should be an island. We all got to rely on each other sometime. Mm hmm. Do you have anything else you'd like to? talk about let's see um i am currently streaming on my smp server two times a week um so you know because i'm trying to build it to be more active it's the tgd smp stands for transgender and gender diverse so you don't have to be necessarily um, trans specifically, if you're just gender non-conforming or you are non-binary or agender, you totally fit too. Um, my, one of my friends on there is Pyrite. She just identifies as Monster Dog. <laughs> and yeah, I've just been like thinking about that a lot. Like recently we had the month of October where we played a spooky mod pack. It was very very horrifying but it was a lot of fun that oh, was such God. a spooky mod pack that was so scary for those of you who know about mod packs if it's, you know it was you the know horror island yeah horror yeah, island yeah. how are you doing thanks for the follow there horror island was such a freaking nightmare it's just parasites and like other dimensions of abyssal origin and uh a lot there of fun. So many zombies. So many. So many. And then now we're in the vanilla world, but we're actually waiting to get a winter world going, a winter themed or Christmas themed kind of uh, playthrough going on a different, different world. And um, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> So, moral of the story, join Lexi's 
uh, SMP for Minecraft. Yeah. Or just support those who are in the in the server, uh, or, or who are playing on TGD SMP. I'm trying to make it like where people have TGD SMP in their titles when they stream. So I hope that catches on, so people can be like, "Oh, that's all part of like the shared universe," you know? Oh, so that's the server they're playing on, and then yeah. who knows? Maybe people start recognizing that tag. Yeah. Good way to build your brand. Yeah, brand building, there's something that trans people are really good at, and that's brand building, because when they change their name, they change their name everywhere to the same thing. In one night, I did that rebrand on, like, all of my socials. And then yes, because... threw out a tweet. Because I bet you've done it before, too, or you're just like, I gotta rebrand everything, because I don't use that name anymore. <laughs> Actually, that was the first time I did it with uh, this... With streaming in relation, anyways. I have had previous, like, emails and stuff where I used a different handle. I actually still use those emails. Uh -huh, uh -huh, sorry. Oh, the sleepy bitch disease is catching up. Uh-oh. I hope it's not contagious. I'm... I hope so, too. Hmm. I've been awake... Trying to do math. It's hard I'll to do math when you've been awake for 30 hours. Pink. That, that was a good joke. I like that, Pink. I'll use your handle. Oh, there's a good reason we're friends. Hey, Dusk, how you doing? Redacted me, please. Only in my Discord server. I gotta respect Twitch TOS. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Discord server's 18 plus. Yeah, that kind of ends the questions. Mm hmm. Yeah, so we're just kind of vibing till whenever. Yeah, I think I mean, my mom is here, so I need to go talk to her. Okay. Um, you want to shut yeah. yourself out one more time for the end of the video? And then I'll go on to yelling at Twitter. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, my name is Alexandra, a.k.a. Lexi. You can catch me on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, I use the same handle there, as well as Twitter. All of them I use Silexandra, S-I-L-A-X-A-N-D-R-A. -A -A. Yeah. Definitely and go check her out. Yeah, thank you about... Thank you for the interview. I really appreciate it. It's I, I've done a lot. I've I've given a lot of interviews. I've I've only been interviewed twice. Oh yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. the only time I've been interviewed was you. Oh. Look at that. Fired by Steven Universe. I do kind of see the art style aesthetics with your PNG tuber and Steven Universe. Universe. Oh, nope. This is done by my friend Strange Bump. Uh, she just, she actually did it off my other PNG, uh, which I used for my interviews, and she, uh, she made her own with her own art style. Very nice. Yee. Yeah. All right. Nice talking to you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Very nice talking to you too. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. Seriously, I like talking to her. Okay, call's actually disconnected. She booped off first. I guess you guys can see why I became friends with her. She is very fun to talk to. Oh no, she's still in chat listening to me. Ah! Redo the recording. <laughs> Start all over. <laughs> Quick, Lexi, get back on here. We gotta talk for another hour and redo it all. My editor said so. And that is going at the end of the recording. Who knows if you'll actually use it, Pink. <laughs>